You tell me about your process improvement. Okay. Well, I have lots of addresses and phone numbers and, and documents that were all plastered all over my wall. And I got tired of having such a mess. So I decided to put it to the reference manual here, the reference little organizer. And then it took up too much space on my desk. I needed more room for my documents. So I decided to take the feet off, move it over here, and put it on the wall here. And now I have lots of space on my desk. This is gone. And I think that's a pro definitely an improvement. And uh, can you tell me about your lean improvement? I had mentioned hating staples because they take time to pull out and they destroy the papers. So we discussed it with the claim centers and they agreed to use paper clips, which makes it that much easier. Oh, this process improvement. Go ahead, Gary. I made a small process improvement here at my desk. Um, I used to make three copies of the business card order forms. I'd keep one for myself. I would send one to vendor payments. And I'd keep one in the folder for six months. And at the end of six months, I would recycle them. So what I've decided to do, and I talked to my manager about it, she said, sure, let's try that. So what I'm doing is I just make the one copy for vendor payments. I no longer make a copy for my folder. And as soon as I get the email confirmation from Department of Enterprise Services, I put it in my electronic file folder here so I can pull up the business card if a customer has a question. So it's a small process improvement, but it's, it's one that saves time and staples and paper. Tell me about your process improvement. My process improvement is that our, form, our FMLA form I updated to give the healthcare provider with more options on sending in the FMLA documentation. Our previous form was that they would, uh, the healthcare provider only had one option of mailing the form to us, which took time. So with this process improvement, I added in several other uh, methods. They can fax it to us, they can email it to us in addition to mailing it. So we get those in faster, which saves the healthcare provider money in stamps and it gets here much quicker. Uh, about you guys' process improvement. So what was happening is we would initially take a claim from a customer and it would go to our intake counterparts. They would go ahead and read to them an advice of rights and a fraud statement. Then they would go ahead and transfer them to us. At that point, then the adjudicator would go ahead and read them the exact same script. So we as a hybrid unit came up with the initial um, claims call. They didn't need to give the advice of rights in the fraud statement due to the fact that we were getting that and getting that down on legal and at the same time on the phone calls as well as claimant and customer frustrations. So I work at the Claim Center in the Monetary Appeals team where we call our customers regarding their monetary request appeal. Um, oftentimes we cannot reach them and that causes a potential delay in their benefits. So I created a letter to not only reach out to those customers but to everybody that files a monetary appeal request so that everyone gets timely information and nobody has to wait any longer.